the diamond sutra transformation happens wherever you are there is a misconception among the people that in order for transformation they have to go to the mountains peaks to various other places the retreats of the masters just as people feel that in order to get help one has to be sanitary you know, one has to be in the nursing home yes for some time you do there you learn a certain kind of discipline you were obese you were not taking care of your health and because of that certain things have happened so a program is made for you to follow but you cannot remain in that nursing home or the sanitarium for the long of the day you have to come up remember transformation happens wherever you are it all depends on your mind things it is said that when i go to the particular ashram or in the company of the master i feel good the reason is their inner energy is intense no distraction is possible but if you are not mindful even in the company of the master transformation can happen you will go there and will return empty for transformation mindfulness is very very important if you are mindful transformation can happen this very moment right wherever you are you do not need to go anywhere how it happened to nanak nanak was engaged in one of the most mundane activity he was 15 or 16 years of age this is the first experience that he had before that there was another incident nanak it was a rainy winter night nanak was in his room the night was slowly and slowly receding into its oblivion the rain drops falling on the galvanized wood with a sound drop by drop up up but the sound was coming it was almost third quarter was coming to an end of the night nana was awake the lamp was lit in his room His mother came and gave a gentle nod. Son, go to sleep. The night is almost coming to an end. Same time, a bird called Papiha. That is the name of the bird. Very beautiful bird. And when it calls, it's a clarion call, as if it is calling to its beloved. Tiu, tiu means beloved. as if it is calling to its beloved the bird gave a clarion call to nanak drew the attention of his mother mother are you hearing this bird the bird is calling it is calling to its beloved i do not know where my beloved is whether i'll be able to reach him in this life or not and when one is in love there is no question of being one has to be constantly awake one has to be mindful when it may happen your eyes if you are waiting for your beloved to come or somebody very important to come your ears are always fixed on the knock on the door in each knock you feel that you will have a chance that time nanak was in search 
incident is continued. The other incident is he was 16 years of age. He was working for a brochure. The person was dealing in the wholesale of grain. Now there was no arrangement, no better way to measure things. Even when you go to the digital scale and digital scale has a capacity that it can measure 5 kg, 2 kg or 3 kg, something like that. So what the person will do, pull up a bag, weigh it in the multiple of whatever be the capacity of the weighing scale and he will put the bag aside. But in those times there was no bags. The shape of the kitchen scale, scale is like that of the symbol of justice two pans on either side suspended by a strong wooden or metal rod. On one side the weight is put on the other side raw grain circuit, be it wheat, be it sugar, rice or anything else. He has to lift it in his hand and when he is weighing 5 kg, that means 5 kg weight and 5 kg of the grain. The total weight of the scale is 10 kg. He can do a certain amount, none of that weight. And each time when he finish one, he has to put it on the side to make another heap, taking out from the main heap of the grain, putting it in the, filling the pan, the panel of the scale, weighing it, putting it in the other heap and counting one. When he finish one, he counts two, now he has completed two and he keeps on counting these numbers loud so that he does not make a mistake otherwise he has to count his follower of him. These people become very versatile in the process of counting, measuring and counting simultaneously. He counted one, two, three, and he was counting in the Punjabi language, the Gurmukhi. The Hindi, the thirteen is English, it is thirteen, Hindi it is Tera. And in Gurmukhi, it is Tera. Tera also has another meaning, it means yours. There are only two stations, either it is mine or yours. When it is mine, the ego sense comes in. When it is yours, the ego sense vanishes. So, Nanak remembered one, two, and when it reached a number, 13. He continued to sing Tera. Tera. Everyone asked what had happened. Are you what, mad or what? Why are you not continuing to count after 13? After 13 comes 14. But for Nanak, the state of disability. I had been searching all the time for time, yours, now it has come, why should I leave? Continue to wait. This is the time when Nanak was in search. He was 16 years old. He is in the marketplace doing one of the most mundane activity of weighing the games. The person who is there, he is also mundane. All around the activities, the environment is mundane. And none of that comes to that state. And you have to put on your meditation clothes. You have to have the meditation chair. You have to be in the ashram of a very prominent guru. And it is still nothing happening. 
Remember, transformation happens deep within you. It can trigger with any activity. It triggered in Nanak. With the ordinary activity, the reason was that he was mindful. Mindfulness is the title. Mindfulness is the key. If you are mindful, transformation can happen with the as happened in peace with money. People have wrong connotations that for transformation they have to go to the communes, ashrams. I have heard a lady, she has to meditate and she meditates very hard. And now she needs a meditation chair. And she is looking for the best meditation chair as if the meditation chair will make a meditation. When the last meal before enlightenment Buddha had was a sweet rice, a porridge made of rice, because that was the only thing available to him. He spread the leaves in the ground and the tree, sat in a lotus position. So now people think eating the sweet rice and sitting in a lotus posture is the way to improve. Human mind is obstinate like a mule. It never grasps the fruits of the mind. Goes in its own erratic rule. The problem is not where you live. The problem is not what you do. You can go to a commune and you will carry all your problems with you. People come to you. But they come with their back full of their problems. Others who have come to live in the commune have also come just like you with their own problems. Sooner or later those problems will surface and start interacting with one thing. These outer things cannot help because these are distractions. It is like a sick who says that he can be healthy only in a nursing home not outside. It was in 1977 the first sentence that I spoke to my spouse. I asked her which places did you visit in India. She said Mother's Ashram in Pondicherry. I said that's a beautiful place, but my experience of life is if you have your instruments attuned, like a radio set, you can feel the feeblest of the vibrations wherever you are. You do not need to go to the places. In order to feel the energy field or the curvature of the shape, one way is that you have to go to the shrine, your meditate. Meditation, your focus has to be so strong that wherever you are, you can create the shine and you can pay your respect. When Buddha, many lives ago, he was not enlightened. He came to a master, enlightened one, Deepanka Buddha. Deepankar was sitting and Buddha, as he came in, Buddha went close to him and bowed down. Same time Deepankar got up from the sea and he bowed down to Buddha who was his friend. He surprised Buddha and he said, I am not enlightened but you are. So it is acceptable that I must bow to you. But why did you bow to me? Deepankar said, I can see in you that which you cannot see. The bud, the seed, has the potentiality to become a plant. But first it becomes, it sprouts, 
then it attains a certain amount of growth, but speaking to acne, bud has its own beauty as well. The, cloud, the bud has not blossomed. Its beauty and fragrance has not escaped. Yet still bud has its own beauty. And I know one day you will blossom into a beautiful flower but that time I will not be there. So I am paying my respect to you so that when instead of respecting and cherishing the presence of a flower, I have the seed in my hand and I know the capability of the seed that one day it will blossom and will give millions of flowers. So I am paying my respect to that seed, which is un to that flower which is unmanifest hidden within the womb of the seed. I can see on the garden and the eternal path that I can see. Many lives passed and when Buddha Gautam became enlightened, he did not need to run down to look for the anchor. Probably he would have to look for him. He had already done for this time and time. He turned, then as the person dies, he becomes possible. He is not confined to any particular place or space. The physical body is confined to a particular place or space because the space and time bound. But the second body, the energy body, the magnetic body and all other bodies are not space and time bound. They are beyond time and space. They spread like a vast canopy, like ocean. It becomes ocean. There is no place which is devoid of that particular energy. Buddha turned in a particular direction. Probably he would have turned in the northern direction. As Hindu Pandits say that all the gods and goddesses reside in the northern direction and the ancestral realm is the southern realm. But in fact it does not happen. It becomes possible. Whichever direction you turn, if you have a devotion and mindfulness within, you will feel the presence of the Master. Buddha turned in a particular direction and paid his obeisance to Deepankar. Because Deepankar was the one who was able to see the unblossomed flower hidden in the sea. The real change has to happen within. Commune or no commune. The real change has to happen in the deepest core of your being. If it happens there, only then will life be different otherwise. It is said they all fail. They are all failed because you remain the same unchanged. They have not failed really. Their failure only proves that you are frustrated. Wherever you go, you will carry your problem. You have tried to evade your problem and come to the place. Many times people come to the communes frustrated from their life, their jobs, husband and wife. So those things remain there at the surface of the mind, constantly blocking the flow of the mind. The master wants to pour into them, but they do not. They are not able to remove those wheels that they carry around. Their failure only proves that you are frustrated. They were not they have not fulfilled your expectations 
and what were their ex expectations? Man thinks that just living in a communal ashram, all his problems will vanish. He will attain to the financial security of other men. You remember when you met an accident, you are lying unpaid on the street. There is a strong sun. Maybe it is raining, but you are incapable of moving your hand. You have to suffer. But if you have created the credits from the throat, as soon as the accident takes place, by chance the ambulance is passing from that side, or some other sanitary gives you support and takes you to the hospital immediately. The intensity of your pain, suffering and the duration of this pain and suffering can be reduced tremendously. You may reach to the hospital. Again, people start blaming the hospital systems. But it all depends on your credit, how much credit you have in your being. Someone may reach to the hospital and as soon as you reach immediately the para medical, the medical staff rushes to admit the hospital, the patient to the hospital. Immediately everything becomes alive. The X-ray machines, the all the movements, whereas with someone else it does not happen. So the person thinks maybe he is a VIP or no, yes, he is VIP because he has earned credits. Okay. And it is the profit of those credits that comes to be Man thinks just by living in the commune or in the company of the man, all problems can be solved. We are problems, pack up and go in the company of the master. What have you come here for? I have relinquished the world and I want to serve my master. I want to live in your company. You are evading something. And man thinks that just by living in the commune of the ashram that will do and your problems will be solved. Neither can a commune solve the problems, nor going to Himalayas or living in a cave or in an ashram will help. Life has to be tackled very realistically. You have to look penetratingly into your problems. It is, I recall, it was 1976. I was working on my books on economics. The money was scanty, coming in small bits and pieces, whatsoever used to come. I have to cater for getting the books that were needed and for the using for the transport to go to the institute where the research and the work I was doing. And in between when there was time I will write some books which will give the instant money but I was not holding the copy banks. So there was the, I have finished the book. At the end of the eighth chapter, there were many problems, questions, and the problems have to be given mathematically because the book was on mathematical economics and monetics. And then I have to do the solution, a hint to the solution, and also give the answer. So that was the book. I remained moving. It became so intense that I decided to forget about everything and go to the cafeteria and eat something. 
went to the cafeteria and spent more money than I would have normally spent. I would live on the bare subsistence. I ordered. And same time it happened, I was contemplating on those mathematical problems. All of a sudden something is sprang forth from within. It is for the heart to suggest your problems and it is for the intellect to solve them. It is for the heart to suggest our problems and it is for intellect to solve them. Later on I changed the word intellect to awareness. It was like a floating Archimedes found the principle of buoyancy and it came running out of the bathtub, naked, saying beautiful I I gave back the gave the money to the waiter and said you pay the server it is to do. He said sell your items. I said no you do not. I went straight to the dark wedding. Remained there until midnight when the library was closed and went to the other department office. And for 36 hours remained glued to the desk and got the submissions. Then I made this as an important my watchword. It is for the heart to suggest our problems and it is for the awareness to solve them. Neither commune can help nor going to the Himalayas or living in a cave or in an ashram or in the company of Guru and help them come. Life has to be tackled very realistically. You have to look penetratingly into your problems. You have to go to their very roots and burn the seed of all those problems. Only then you can find help anything. Once you have known the crux of the matter, no matter how difficult it is, you will find the solution. Once you have known the crux of the matter, then you need not go anywhere. It can happen anywhere, wherever you are. The entire cosmos is nothing. The entire cosmos is nothing but an extension of consciousness. If this is your realization, you can enjoy the fruits of existence. The Hindu Upanishad, Isha Upanishad says, Isha was similar to Isha, the consciousness, the ever expanding consciousness. Was means dwells. Idam, all around. Isha was similar to It is spread like a wild community. Isha was similar to Sarvam. Yet, each Jagatti and Jagatti. You trust it. Existence never fails. You can reap the fruits of benefits, the vast canopy, the sky, the blueness of the sky, the dreams, the space where you can soar to infinite lights, the raindrops, everything you can enjoy. Once you understand Isha was Sarvam, that consciousness is not confined to any particular place, time or space. It is spread beyond time and space. It is available to you, to a heart which is open. It is said that the man was crying. He said the door is closed, open the door. Opened the door, but his eyes were closed. A voice came with food. Open your eyes and see the door is always open. And you think the door is 
If this is your realization, Isha Vasimidam Sarvam Yatim Devatyam is your realization. You can enjoy the fruits of the existence wherever you are. People have been searching for a heaven down the ages. However, no one is interested in transformation. Instead, they hanker for a heaven. They hanker for easy way. But wherever they go, they will create the heaven. They are very real. So it is not a question of finding heaven somewhere. Unless you have it already in you, you will not find it anywhere. Once I knew a man who had won all the expensive trips to both heaven and hell, he was asked where he would he like to go to. I would like to visit the hell place and so Arrange for a trip to hell. On arriving hell, a great sight met his eyes. He found himself in a large banquet hall in which long tables were laden with every imaginable kind of food. People sat along the table, forks, oils, ever the food, which streamed deliciously and filled the air with the most tempting smell that no one was eating. This puzzled the man, but when he looked closer, he noticed that the people were all suffering from a strange paralysis of elbow. Paralysis of elbow, try as they might, they just could not get the food to go on. The paralysis of elbow, elbow will reach a place that people when you are lifting it from the table, it is, its movement is vertical and then it becomes horizontal. So this is hell. The man thought in flying to live in a bounteous universe full of all that one could need or desire or imagine but to starve and its plenty and unable to feed himself because of terrible families. Turning away, the man asked to be taken to heaven. In heaven he saw the same large banquet hall filled with same long tables laden with the same detectable or mouth-watering variety of foods, all kinds of foods. Foods not only from all continents, but all the countries, the Italian, the Chinese, the Mexican, the Indian, the South Indian, North Indian, all kinds of dishes were there. A range of appetizers, range of desserts, all the tempting and looking so nice. Looking closer, he noticed that the people were suffering from the same kind of paralysis of heaven. This is heaven, he exclaimed, almost alone. But upon even a closer inspection, he noticed the difference. He saw that between heaven and hell, there was one small difference which made all the difference. What he saw that in heaven, they were feeding them. He, they were feeding each other. They were all paralyzed so they could not feed themselves, but they were paralyzed and that they could feed the other. They were all paralyzed just the same way as the people in Hindu, but they were feeding each other. It was impossible to bring food to their own mind, but it was it was possible to feed the other, and the other was feeding them. So they were feeding one another. This is the only difference between heaven and hell. Remember, the difference is in sound. 
be within compassion with them unless you are a bodhisattva wherever you are you will be when passion is transformed into compassion you get a different a new vision a new vision of the world around you you get the deeper light your light in the room is not working you suddenly find the torch light to light can focus in a particular direction and help you to find all that you need to find your awareness is that torch light you have to use to find the way and it's the letter and the noise of the world. Then wherever you are, you are in heaven. And that is the only paradise there is. The only paradise there is. The birth of Chetika. The Dhinaparama Sutra. The Diamond Sutra, the Lord Himself. Yes, Sumati. For the Tathagat had told that it comes especially the Buddhas are just not a Buddha special to me. That is why they are called the Dhamm special to Buddha. The Lord said, what do you think, Siddhiti? Does this, does it occur to this extreme being? By me has the fruits of a stream winner being attained. Subhati replied, No, indeed, O Lord. And why? Because, O Lord, he has not won anything. Therefore, is called a tree being. No sight, object has been won. No sound, the smell, taste. Touchable or objects of the mind that is why he is called an extreme. The Diamond Sutra will appear to most of you as absurd as man. It is tradition. It is irrational. It is irrational. It is not anti rational. It is something beyond the reason. That is why it is so difficult to express in the world. That which is beyond all logic, that transcends the boundaries of logic and rationality, it has to be experienced in the reason. The reason is the heart. Transformation happens wherever you are. You need not go away. I have heard once Rabia Basri, she was living in a small hut and one night she came out of her hut and under the street light she was looking for something. As Rabia was looking for something, people from the village, neighboring area gathered. He said, Rabia, what happened? What are you looking for? She said, I lost my meeting, so I am looking for the meeting. So the people ask Rabia, tell me, the road is very wide and we are searching for the needle, a small needle in a helpful, skeptical way. Tell me, which particular area you are needing? What Rabia said was a street. She said the needle fell inside the room. The people said the needle fell inside the room. Are you crazy or what? And you are looking for the needle in the street. I have to look for the needle. Not inside. I have to look for the needle in the room. Why? Because inside is dark. And how do you find me to look for my needle inside the room which is dark? So I come out on the street to look for the people. The people said, Rabia, you seem to be really crazy. 
You have lost your needle inside the house, inside your room, and you are looking for it in the street. He said, yes, I have to look for it. Because inside is dark. And when there is dark, how can I find it? The people said, carry the light there. Ravya said, this is what I have been teaching. To carry the light to dark place of yours. And you will be able to put everything in the dark place. Carry the light to forgiveness. Carry the light of understanding to the dark caves wherever you are. You will find the solution. You are like Rafia. The needle is lost in the room and you are searching for it on the street and you are making us toil to look for the needle which is lost inside. Rafia said, this is what you have been asking me to do all the time. You have lost your way in this and that and so and you are asking me to find a solution to me. You go and find a solution yourself.